Hello everyone, it is Haley and I am back with another video. So this is kind of two videos combined. Um, I want to do a haul of all of the new stuff I got in last week. I only pulled out one thing for the sale and it was this size 10 ring because I had promised someone size 10 rings. Um, but everything else stayed in its, in its little original packaging. Um, I also have spent the week, obviously I had um, a lot of packages to go out. All the late packages got dropped off last week on Thursday. Um, I billed Wednesday, except for um, one that I was just waiting for payment on the new stuff from this week. So everything else got dropped off. Um, and today is Monday. The last packages will be dropped. The last current packages will be dropped off. All the late stuff got done. So will be dropped off before the sale tomorrow. So we are all caught up um, from the uh, printer fiasco. Any hoozle, I wanted, I also, so also, anyway, I had a bunch of, I was going through a lot of my inventory to pull out gifts because I had a, a few big orders. And so I sent quite a few gifts with them. And I also had some requests for other goodies. So. I want to show you the things that I already pulled for the sale, and then we will go ahead and do the haul of the new stuff I got in, which of course I will be adding some of that to the sale. Um, this isn't super old, but it's really cool, it, it, and so I pulled it for tomorrow. It is a lapis, sterling lapis coral and turquoise bracelet. Um, it is uh, about medium size. It's not super small, but it's not huge. Um, it's about six and a half or six and a quarter, but so cool. Um, also, this necklace, this is all knotted agate stone. It is Sterling Findings, and this is branded. This is by, I think it's Lucius, Luca, L-U-C-925. And I pulled this out. These are some of my favorite old cameos. This one is Wedgwood, I believe. Yes, this is actually Wedgwood. Really, really pretty. Um, this one is Vermeil, left facing. Um, this one's like a fairy. This one is a shell cameo in 800 silver. And it is a brooch and a pendant. I also just grabbed these. Of course, I'm there's, oh, one of the things I got in is a, is a lot of earrings, which is, there's over 70 in there. So we've got plenty of earrings, but I went ahead and pulled these because I know there's several of you that like the running bear. Um, then pendants, hey, you guys, I spent a good amount of time matching pendants and chains, getting my large pendants out. This is a garnet Nikki Butler style sterling pendant everything up here is sterling this is a snuff bottle opens up this one i'm on the fence about if it's charite or sujolite i can't figure it out but it is a really cool sterling hinged um, pendant i've got some huge ones this one is old 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 this one is turquoise um i've got some artisan ones uh, this is another turquoise one that's huge really really good quality turquoise this is a d-day pendant israeli sterling today um, i've got some large medallions i've got some on omega chains all kinds of chains um, this is a really cool pendant large this one is awesome there's a, another medallion down there this is a huge sterling marcasite and hematite so all kinds of those um, rings. I did a deep dive through all my bags of rings. I did find some more in larger sizes. I think I even have an 11 or 12. This is, these, I think both are, I know this one is a vintage Sterling Avon ring, amethyst. Um, these are all larger sizes. This one is a nine right here, but I've got some 10s and 11s. Um, and again, this is just what I pulled out from my own 
inventory. Um, I pulled out, this is another pair of garnet earrings. I love these. These are designer sterling silver. They're hand signed. I have a over here. I was looking for this little bundle for the longest time. This is a huge um, sterling silver and uh, turquoise bezel set pendant necklace. The pendant is affixed to the chain. So it's almost like a Tiffany necklace, but a huge turquoise heart. This is a super old, that is a Macintosh rose. Um, that's from England and that is Topaz, I believe. Of course, I will test during the sale. It's either Topaz or Aquamarine. New Moonstone, I've never shown this. This I got in recently. This is Malachite, a very, very old sterling pendant on the original sterling chain. Turquoise, both of these, whoops, over here are Judith and Jack, and they both are actually on original Judith and Jack chains. Um, I've got some, this is a set, a bracelet and a necklace. They are by the same brand, Sterling. These are gemstone, that's amethyst, and also I believe topaz could also be aquamarine. Again, I will check. I have some different chain bracelets, some turquoise um, and liquid silver seed bead. What else? Oh, I pulled out another liquid silver and turquoise necklace. This one, the one I pulled out, I believe it is Desert Rose Trading Company. It is branded, it has a tag on it. And yeah, that is just some of the things I pulled out. This is an aquamarine ring, the one I was looking for in the last sale um, by Sturgis. It is gorgeous. That's in a smaller size. So let's go over um, the first haul, which you guys saw this, this was a ring in a size 10. It is a spinner ring. The inner band spins. I also got this super cool pendant. It has um, lapis, sodalite, and turquoise inlay, and it's a brooch pendant combo. It's an old Taxco one where Taxco is actually written out. I have these heavenly white buffalo Buffalo turquoise, some people call it. Um, sterling earrings. These are amazing. Look at these. Ah, this ring also came in the lot. Look at this. Perfect. Um, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, lapis. That is red, jasper, malachite, and onyx. And this one's in like an eight, I believe. Um, this a uh, pendant came in the lot. It didn't have a chain. I did add a chain to it. I really, really love this. And this is branded. Um, this one is $9.50 and it's got a signature on it. Um, it also came with this really, really cool um, unisex chain, which uh, some people I think could use it as an anklet, not me, but because uh, it's too small. But it is it like kind of in between men's or women's sizes. But you could obviously clip it anywhere you want and make it whatever size you want. Also, it, it came with these two bangles. They're not huge, actually. Um, usually bangles are way too big. And for mo that's why most people don't like them because they're massive. These, um, they fit over my hand and they're not huge, but there was only two. So I actually um, had another bangle that's the same size but it is flat. These are, you can see round, but the one I have is flat, but it is sterling. So I will offer it, um, like I'll probably maybe offer these like each, but if someone wants to buy two, then I will add that one in or something like that. And then the last thing in this lot are these, which you're probably like, um, what is even that? Which these are also tax code. I, th I always mess up that brand and I looked it up again. You guys know I've been trying to figure out um, to learn a lot of the Native American stamps better and I couldn't find it. I Anyway, so these are coral but these are earring enhancers. So you wear them with a pair of post earrings and you can put them against like this ball earring and then have your lobe behind it and then the earring back. Or you can wear the earring 
up against your lobe and then put this up against the back of your ear lobe and put the back on it. So it would look kind of, you know, like sitting like that. So I pulled out um, a pair of, and I'll offer these at a discount if someone wants to buy them with these. Um, I pulled out a pair of just regular balls, regular cubes, and um, I grabbed my other earring thing. I have some like just plain discs and others that I will offer at a discount if you want them with these. So that was the small lot. Let me pause. I also wanted to show you, um, I've been organizing my very small sterling studs. This is my box of sterling gemstone or all sterling. And then I have sterling and CZs and then probably CZs as well, the questioners. Um, but I've got parrots, little kumquats, some little designer ones. I've got a couple Disney ones and actually another pair of Disney on the way. These are, I think they are Mickey, no, they're mini heads, Verme mini heads, and then um, Sterling mini Minnie Mouse bows. And then I have a uh, little Mickey Mouse just standing up studs on the way, which I have paid for. Oh, and by the way, I, my big order with the, I wrote it down. I think it, there's like 64 pendants, a bunch of them large, like 30 rings. Um, there's a couple brooches, some sets. There's 36 bracelets, um, 12 pieces of amber, large, and they're like large items, uh, like unique ones. Uh, what else? And two of the large bracelets are amber. Yes, and I'll, I'm sure I'll think of it. I got a big ring lot, the two or three bracelet lots, three lots of pendants. Um, so that are coming from overseas, but I've already paid for them. Then I got a Silpata lot. Um, and let me show you. I do have, again, a whole collection of Silpata. In fact, I've had this pendant before. Um, and now I know I got it just as a pendant without the original chain or whatever. So now I have the Silpata chain to go with it on this one. Look how freaking cool this is. Sterling silver, of course. Gemstone up the sides. Um, this is so stinking cute. I've never seen something like this in Sulpata. This is adorable and so trendy right now. The perfect layering piece. Um, and then again, a super cool layering piece. This is very long mixed metal. Um, there are some gemstones in here. I believe these are terminated quartz. Um, I don't know what that stone is though, but these are terminated quartz. There's brass and sterling. And then There is this super cool necklace, look at this. There's like a piece of quartz over the top of this other pendant and look at this. They put a piece of quartz over the top of this mother of pearl shell. This was just a pendant and didn't come with a chain, but eventually of course I will put it on a chain. This is well, quartz or aquamarine, it's almost looking a light blue, really pretty. Then, let me show you, there is this necklace, which actually, the earrings were in the earring, separate earring lot. They weren't in here with the Silpata lot, but they are matching Silpata earrings. So good thing I bought the Silpata lot and the earring lot from the same place. So, very cool. This simple but adorable perfection. This looks like an Israeli one. I'm not sure. Um, this classic Silpata Sterling Spiny Oyster and two 
larger rings. Look at these. And these are larger sizes. I wear an eight, an eight, eight and a half on my pointer fingers. So that is the rest of the silk pod a lot. Let me pause you. All right, and the last lot is one huge lot and a smaller one. And I just put them together because the smaller one is all different hoops and hoop style earrings. I'm not gonna go through all of these, um, but I've got these hoops and a million others. If you guys want me to bring hoops to the show in this um, lot, it did come with two um, pendants and one chain because they matched the earrings. So there's this set and then a nice onyx set. And I have innumerable sets of sterling onyx pendants. If you guys need some onyx, I have a whole um, collection I put together. It's right next to me. I've been combining all of my, like where it's just all onyx and sterling um, into one bag because I was going to do a video, but anyway, so I've got it all together. These, look at these. These are gouache enamel. And let me show you, I also pulled out two other pairs of gouache enamel artisan earrings. How cool are these? These are sterling, obviously. Are these not so cool? And then I went ahead and grabbed my box with these two pairs in it to show you as well. Hold on. I wanted to show these two in case you are a gouache enamel lover. These are so tiny and these are old. These, oh, move your fingers. Do you see? They're enameled in the back like the Siam. These are old. These are little ones. Then I have these, which are super cool. The metallic gouache enamel. These are, you see, by the same, that same brand. And then I have another antique pair with the enamel in the back. Stamping. Let me see. We'll have to look at it not in front of the, like not through the camera, just with my eyes. But, so I also have these. Just wanted to show you. Oh my gosh, before I forget, I set these over here to put out for the sale and I forgot to set them up. This, my friends, look at this. This is a huge quartz druzy with turquoise, opal, mother of pearl shell. And then there are opalite beads on here as well. Look at this. Have you ever seen something that cool in your whole life? It is a artisan piece. It's, this is amazing. And I also pulled this out, which is, this one is Texco, right? Yes. Oh, little, little Pamillo, Pamillo, 925 Mexico. It's not Texco. It's a actual designer brand, little Patillo, Patillo, I don't know. There's Blue Lace Agate. Mm. That might be Laramar, Rose Quartz. And then in the center, probably a Jade, could be a Calcite. I will obviously test it with the Presidium, but I wanted to pull those two out as well. Those were two things that I did already have, but I do want out in the sale. Okay, on with our earrings, which, and the rest of this, um, because I don't see anything else over here, I forgot to show it. So the rest of the video, I do believe will be earrings with all my new earring lots. So you guys have been asking about marcasite, <laughs> malachite, and look at these bad boys. Amazing. Amazing. There's these. These my these are green onyx. Amazing. And these are 
black onyx, sterling, and onyx, very Bali style. I love these. We have these, and guess what? I have another pair of these exact these exact earrings, not just cats, because I've got lots of other cat earrings in sterling. But I have another pair of these exact cats that I also just um, just won, and so. I will have another pair of these in case two people like them. Hopefully there will be two people. Um, Snowflake Obsidian. And looky here. This is like the blue, blue turquoise. Look at that. I know a couple of people bought pieces with that color. All right, let me pause. All right, these are adorable. These are threaders. So you put these through your ear hole and you can either put it back right here and let them dangle or you pull the chain through your ear and let them hang like this in your ear. These are amazing. Look at these. These are so pretty. Ah, these are really nice too. Like look at the quality of stones in here. Little half hoops, sterling. Got these bad boys, beautiful. Real pearl, sterling. And then look at these. We've got some charite. That is charite. That's making me think that the pendant is, ugh, I'm still confused, but this is charite. And then this one is has kind of purple in it too. Huh. Maybe this is charite too. But we've got these two pairs of blossom earrings. Amazing. All right. We've got these earrings. Super cool. And then look, these. These are like the opposite, upside down. Boing, boing. These are large. Um, I've got a pair. Oh, I think there's, I thought, yeah, there's two on this. So there's a pair of those. These are cool. We've got these super long, like, obelisk ones. These are huge. Amazing. Look at this. Screw back. Those are old. Amazing. These are old. These are repoussé. We've got some spirals, good quality ones, pretty heavy. Oh, there's our other obelisk and our other spiral. We've got a pair of, these are nice, these are heavy. Ooh, these might be one too. Really cool, very intricate violins. Um, very pretty far-fetched style stars. These adorable little... Oh. Little hookback hearts. I'm going to have to straighten the little hookback out. The little southwest etching. Um, we have... Oh, look at these. Those are nice. And then we have these. Where's the other? Here we go. We did that. And then, oh, I love these. Oh, there's the other violin, but look at these. Doesn't that look almost like a lady a little bit? Very Art Nouveau, but also like tribally. I love it. And This is the last one from the all silver group. So all of these are, this was the group without any stones. Whoops, all right, let me pause you. All right, this group are my favorites, not including the really tiny earrings. Tinies are in here, but these are my larger sized favorites, I guess you'd call it. Um, get off of here, we're all tangled up here. Look at this. It's like Cinderella's carriage. That's a gemstone. 
and these are post earrings. Is that not amazing? And then look at this. These, I believe, are moss agate. Look at these. These are large. And then look at this. This is like wood. These are native. These are a shell, and I forget what type of shell they are. I believe these are a shell. I do believe that. And then let's look at these amazing, oh, look at the quality of that Labradorite with the amethyst at the bottom. These are large as well. All right, pause. Oh wait, look how perfect these would fit in the room. I love it. Or even the agate uh, necklace. Okay, pause. All right, these are all the clear stone earrings. Now I haven't tested these, so I don't know if they are CZ or not. But look at these. These are nice. These are branded. Beautiful. And there's some big ends. Look at these sparkle in these. These are really, really nice quality. I, I can't even believe that. These are nice. These are nice, 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 nice quality stones. Of course. Oh, that little thing at the top is just bent right there. I need to fix it. It's no problem. Are you kidding me with this? I mean, that looks like how they edit photos to make them look that sparkly. Beautiful. We've got some gorgeous studs. Ooh, and those look like they could be some gemstones. These are nice. In fact, made very well. And we've got um, a couple types of flowers. And then we've got some dangly flowers. Beautiful. We've got kind of like diamond and circle. Then we've got these, which are very, very nice. They are look like, yeah, they're branded as well. These are beautiful. Very, very nice. We've got some vermeil. Look at these. These look like Ross Simon. Oh, I also got a, um, they're not Ross Simon, but they are branded. I got a um, really, really nice, a large um, vintage lot in uh, just recently. Vintage. Jewelry. I've got some Dorlon, Diorlon, yeah, and like a bunch of pieces in that. I'm really excited to do a video on those. Look at these. These are very nice. And last but certainly not least, those, those are diamonds. Those are diamonds. I can tell by the way they're set because there's also some illusion settings in there. These are diamond earrings, baby. Of course, I will test them. Of course. So those are all the clear stones. Um, here are, oh, this is just the miscellaneous bag. Um, these are stars and onyx. We've got some beer. These are fun. These are funny. I like them. We've got some Celtic knots. We've got some crosses with the heart in the center. Those are cute. And we've got music notes. Beautiful. All right. And these are the little littles. Um, there's some really pretty, really pretty ones in here. Look at these. Yeah, I'm going to bet these are gemstones and diamonds. Uh -huh. I do think so. Um, and 
then these look like I would to me. They could be CZs, of course. They're a good size. We've got some little danglers. I bet those are topaz. Beautiful. Um, these, I am, well, I can already tell by looking at them. These are topaz, or not topaz, uh, sapphire. They look like they match the um, Sterling Avon Sapphire rings, the two rings that I had the last sale. I still have them, and I got one for Kristen for Christmas. These are beautiful. Um, these, gorgeous. And these, those. Those need to be cleaned up. I was thinking they might be raw emeralds, but I don't know now. And then these little babies, which are stinking adorable. There's mother of pearl shell, and then a red and a green. So pretty. All right, and our last bag. We've got some nice ones in here. These are really cool. These are artisan made. These, I can't tell what those are. These are really cool though. I know they're cool, whatever they are. These are giant potato pearls, Baroque pearls, sterling silver. Very nice. And then these gorgeous bad boys right here. Big old amethyst. Those are chonkers. Gorgeous. And that, my friends, was all of the new inventory that I got in last week. Every single piece. So I hope you liked it. Hope you like the things I've pulled out so far. Of course, I'm going to pull out a bunch of things from my recent haul. And yeah, if there's anything else. Oh, I did find an 18-inch um, ball station um, necklace. I know someone was asking about that. If that's not the kind you were looking for, please let me know. Um, this is super long. This is doubled over. This is the Desert, Trading, Desert Rose Trading Company necklace. And... There's another, there's a few pretties on this. So I will be putting out earrings from our haul and other goodies. If there are any earrings that you saw in this video that you wanna make sure are in the next sale, send me a screenshot um, and I will make sure to have them tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed the video and we will see you next time. Bye.